Hi everyone, in this video, I will give you a demo to Smart Operator Tool, which is your PF Service Request Portal. From the URL received via email, you will be redirected to this login page where you have to click on this login using SSO button. This is a sample email that you will receive from Smart Operator. Here is a link to the portal. You can find the link to the portal and more details about this in the Intel Circuit page. After you log in, you will arrive at the dashboard. On the left hand side, you can find the various options that are available. And on the top, you have the announcement sections where the announcements will be displayed. And if you click on any of the announcement, the details of the same will appear here. Below the announcements is the calendar. In calendar, you have these tiny dots which represent the deadlines. If you click them, you can find the details of the same here. Next, we'll move on to the activity board. So this is the dashboard of the activity board. Here you can see that the activity is being displayed based on the current status in which it is in. If you want to create a new activity, click on this button. And from the drop down list, you can select any one of the activity, select the type of activity and then enter the description. Please note that if you wish to add any other query which is not listed in the drop down, you'll have to do it in the employee query section. If you want, you can include any attachments here. And if you click on this add this activity to my calendar, this activity's due date will get added to the dashboard. So after you enter all the details, click on the save button and the activity will get added on to the list here. At any point of time, if you want to check the status of the activity, you can click on this hyperlink here and the current status of the activity will appear. If you want to add further details, you can give those details in the comment section here. And if you click this notify button, then intimation will be sent for the same. Next, we'll go to the employee queries. So this is the dashboard of the employee queries where you can see the queries being listed based on the status in which it is in. If you want to create a new query, click on this button. You have to enter the title of the query. You can either select from the drop down or type your own query. Provide a description for the same. And then if you have any attachments, you can include it here. And then if you click the save button, the query will get added on to the table here. In the same way, you can click on this hyperlink and then check the status of the query. You also have the comment option where you can add further details or follow up using this comment option. Every time when you create a query or an activity or when its status gets updated, you will receive notifications. This notifications is based on the communication preference that you've set. This is a sample notification that has been received when a query was created. The next is Knowledge Hub. So in Knowledge Hub, you can find the various Provident Fund related articles and videos. I will show you a sample video, Steps for E-Nomination. So here we have a video to show you how to nominate and then, and then we have the steps being mentioned here. So you can refer to these knowledge articles whenever you need support with respect to Provident Fund. Next is my, my profile page where you can find your details under personal information, employment details and benefits and statutory details. You can update your contact details in this page and then if you hit the save button, the details will get updated. The next section is the settings where you have the communication preference. You can either disable or enable the SMS and WhatsApp services based on your convenience. Please note that you cannot disable e email communication as it is the default mode. Thank you.